Hello, welcome to Vision, the 2021 CBCC Student Art Show Virtual Watch Party. During the watch party tonight, you'll be able to hear directly from students as they discuss their own artwork and show you samples of their portfolio work. This art show represents three programs in the CBCC Fine and Applied Arts, Advertising and Graphic Design, Photographic Technology, and Visual Arts. To see all of the artwork displayed by the students at this year's show, visit www.cbcc.studentartshow.com. Enjoy the party. Hello everyone, my name is Chloe Huffman. I'm a student at the Advertising and Graphic Design program at CVCC, and I am very excited to be sharing with you all a little bit about myself, how I stumbled into being a graphic designer, and the things that I've accomplished over these past few years. We're here today in my studio. This is where I get into the creative flow and complete most of my designs. For me, getting into graphic design was an aha moment. I had just discovered Photoshop and was designing a collage poster when I realized that this was something I wanted to pursue as a career path. From that moment forward, I have been chasing this passion as fast as I possibly can. CVCC has one of the best learning environments for studying design. Being surrounded with like-minded people who are passionate about this field has been the most rewarding years of my educational experience. This program has molded me into a creative professional with an extensive knowledge of design. It is such an honor to have completed my portfolio and to be graduating from this design intensive program. I'd like to share with you all a few of my favorite projects that I have completed here during these last two years. The first one is my app interface design called Quickset. I was tasked with concepting a new app idea whose purpose was to solve a problem. Being a head volleyball coach, I decided to create an app for club volleyball teams that allows coaches, parents, and directors to stay organized and collected as a team. I started this design with research, sketches, and personas, which then led into wireframes and from there into the full digital comps. I then developed the app into a prototype using Adobe XD and completed user testing to improve the user's experience. Once the project was complete, we then presented the app idea in a shark tank format and I took second place and I could not be any happier with how this project turned out. The second project I'd like to share with you is a subscription box company called The Velvet Grape. This project was a digital marketing case study which includes a branding package, website design, email marketing, social media marketing, and producing the actual box and its contents. The Velvet Grape is a wine and cheese tasting subscription box that allows you to bring the winery home. Each box includes four wine samples, cheese, chocolate, charcuterie utensils, and a wine glass. This project was production based being that I fully curated all contents. Even the box was custom designed using dye lines. Marketing for the company was also a very heavy part of this project. I designed a website for the brand, I created email marketing materials, and scheduled out three months worth of promotion on three major social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all using Hootsuite. I love this project because of how in-depth I was able to take this unique concept. My final project I'd like to share with you guys is my recent screen printing three color hand cut ruby lip design. For this project, I was tasked with completing a detailed poster illustration using hand cut ruby lip. I started this project with ideation and wanted to create a fun psychedelic poster that was a tip to creativity saying till death we do art. Once I completed my design in Procreate, I then separated the colors and started hand cutting each color layer of the design in the ruby lip to create a film positive. This was a tedious process and took about three weeks from beginning to completion. I first started with the orange layer, I did the blue second, and I finished with the peachy pink. I completed 40 prints of this design. If you ever have the opportunity to take a screen printing class, I highly recommend that you do. It's production oriented and learning the process of taking an idea into a final product is so rewarding as a designer. All right, as I wrap everything up, I wanna say a special thank you to CBCC and the amazing faculty members who are so deeply passionate about this trade design. They have taught me so much more beyond the fundamentals. I still cannot believe how many rich projects I was able to bring to fruition within this program. And thank you all so much for watching. Those are just three out of the 12 projects that will be going into my portfolio this year. If you'd like to see more, just visit my website at thestudioclo.com. Thanks for getting to know me and congratulations to the class of 2021. We made it. Hello everyone. My name is Christian Gonzalez, owner of Gonzalez Graphics Co. I am a graduating student from the Advertising and Graphic Design program at Catawba Valley Community College. I am someone who likes a challenge and finding creative solutions. 
I am someone who appreciates creative feedback and collaboration to get the job done. My journey with CVCC started back in 2018 when I took part in the Summer Skip program and signed up for Design XD. During high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do as a future career. I knew I wanted to be in the creative field, but Design XD was a game changer for me. And I am so glad that I took part because now, two years later, here I am about to graduate from the Advertising Graphic Design program. Throughout my two years, I have learned how to manage my time, demonstrate responsibility, and handle many projects at once. Our last semester has been more self-driven and independent with student-led agencies, with clients to better prepare us for the future. I have learned a lot as what it takes to be a graphic designer. There was not a day during my two years where I stopped learning. Each day was an experience. With such an amazing group of people and instructors to help you along the way, I would not trade it for anything else. One of my favorite campaigns was Galavant, a monthly subscription box service to give travel enthusiasts a sense of adventure. During the production process, I was able to screen print my box to give detail of the vintage travel aesthetic. The main logo and logo mark have detail to demonstrate the overall aesthetic of the box. This campaign also includes a microsite prototype a digital marketing case study, social media, and email marketing campaigns to engage the customers. ABQ Pazula is a family event that is based in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where the days are warm and the city provides a fun spot for family entertainment with attractions that can appeal for the whole family. This event provides hours of enjoyable entertainment while visiting the aquarium, local zoo, and shopping center. After a long day, participants will be able to relax at the ABQ Park and enjoy the ABQ River. The logo mark was created to be simple and to draw in all ages. The logo mark contains the letters A, B, and Q, which signifies the abbreviation for Albuquerque. Those three letters were manipulated to create a shape of an elephant to generate a fun and exciting look for the event. Iconography plays a big role in having an event, giving participants a guide on where things are. ABQ Bazula contains five locations within the event, with each icon was made to be simple for participants to understand where the attractions were. This campaign was made to be fun and enjoyable for the whole family and to have a great time. Ambiance is a shampoo and conditioner product line for women. The logo mark is made up of line work and illustrates a woman with long, luscious hair. To match the flow of the hair, the logo type is a script typeface that curls around and touches the logo mark. The word ambiance means the character and atmosphere of a place. The packaging needed to have two products and a cohesive series. The two scents that I created were lovely lavender and blueberry blossom, both which were made from natural ingredients. To expand this product line, I created dye lines to display all sides of the box and produced it. The box itself is white with a lilac flower pattern displayed inside of the packaging. One of the key features is a see-through window to match the flow of the hair. To display the box as a whole, I use Adobe Dimension to showcase the box while using the dye lines that I produced. The Advertising Graphic Design program has taught me so much throughout my two years that I am so thankful and I appreciate the support and advice from the instructors. Coming here was the right choice and I will recommend it to anyone who loves a creative challenge. You will have the support from the instructors from start to finish. You just have to trust the process. If you would like to see more of my work, go to www.gonzalezgraphicsco.com. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kayla Seabock. From a young age, I was told that I had a huge imagination. I didn't really know this would take me in life, um, so I began my journey to my passion kind of on a whim. I was a junior in high school and I had to take an elective. And at the time, I was given the choice of a multimedia web page and design class. I didn't know what it was, so I begrudgingly signed up for it. I didn't know that it would become my life for years to come. When I was in that first class, I felt like I was able to walk in, sit down, and just create. And now, here I am, about to graduate. My journey wasn't easy, and there were times where I doubted myself. But even in those times, 
I remember how that first class felt, how natural I felt in that setting, and so I persistently continued on my path. I ended up at Catawba Valley Community College's Advertising and Graphic Design program, and I'm so grateful that I did. Being in this program has taught me so much, and I've had the opportunity to do so many amazing projects, and I'd like to share one with you right now. One of our most ambitious projects in this program was a project which focused on UX and UI design. We were asked to find apps that did not currently exist on the market. So in doing some research, I found that a motivational app designed for children did not currently exist. And so Motibuddy was born. Motibuddy is a motivational tool that encourages children to do their daily chores or tasks by giving them a companion who also does the chores or tasks with them. For this project, we really wanted to start thinking with the end user in mind. In order to do so, we created personas. For me, especially for my target audience, I found that it was useful to not only think of children who would benefit from my app, but also the parents who would benefit from my app. The parents would be the ones who would allow their children to use the app. So I had to really focus on not only the children, but also the parents. To bring my app to life, I began by creating hand-rendered sketches of each screen. I had to conceptualize the layout of the app first. Then I had to move into wireframes. These frames were to help us as designers understand where every button would go and how they would function. We then moved into actually prototyping the app itself using Adobe XD, the prototyping software. After this stage, we began user testing. We then compiled the results of the user testing and enhanced our app according to those results. We also created the book for the app, which compiled the research and personas and featured the functionality of our app. Our last step in the app project was our presentation at the AGD Shark Tank. I, along with 14 of my classmates, stood in front of a panel of industry professionals as well as school administration and presented my app idea. I was so fortunate that my creation, Modi Buddy, tied for first place in this competition. As I have matured as a designer, I found that logo design and branding is some of my favorite work. Though I also like to dip my toes in everything. I like to try everything once and develop as many skills as I possibly can. Many of the projects here at CVCC have had multiple elements to them and often included more than just one form of media. A great example of this was my magazine layout project. Ironically, it was one of my first projects and this current semester I actually got to use a software that I have recently dabbled into, Adobe After Effects. Um, and I got to use this video editing software to enhance one of my first projects even further. I started out by conceptualizing what I could do to push my initial project further. So with this in mind, I considered an animated cover to a magazine that would accompany my magazine spreads. I started out by laying out what I wanted the cover to look like. I found a cover photo and developed article titles, and then I had to consider how I was going to animate the cover. So I came up with a couple of ideas, but I eventually went with lines that would then change into a shifting new background, which would simulate virtual reality. Through this project, I was able to revisit one of my first projects and also show off some of my new skills. Thank you so much for listening to my story. I hope to bring you equally as exciting projects in the future. I hope you continue to follow me on my path in graphic design. Please visit my website, www.kssgraphicswithanx.com to see more of my work. Thank you again. Goodbye. Hi everyone, my name is Devin Smyer and I am graduating from CBCC's Advertising and Graphic Design program. I chose to join the Advertising and Graphic Design program because I felt that graphic design would be the perfect place to combine my problem solving skills with my creative skills. Along with this, I felt that this would be a way for me to create art with a very defined purpose. Whether that purpose is to get a consumer to buy something or to create a strong and cohesive brand. 
Following my graduation from the advertising and graphic design program, I aim to work within an agency or studio. I find group settings and having someone above me to lead me creatively to be my ideal position. This setting allows me to use my strengths in converting analog elements to digital and following instructions that were given to me by my creative director to create clean and effective designs. Along with this, I also have a special interest in additional fields, although at the opposite ends of the design spectrum, animation and proofing files for production. During the advertising and graphic design program, I learned so much about my peers, the industry that, will, that I will soon be entering, and myself. I have learned to be much more confident in my work, create designs efficiently, and have fun with design. I would like to talk about some of the projects I have done while at CVCC, beginning with Unhinged. Unhinged is a divorce party planning service meant to bring comfort, joy, and maybe even a little bit of excitement to divorce by setting up a celebration for the divorcee. To make this brand more than just a logo, collateral items were created to go along with it. An identity package featuring a letterhead, a business card, an envelope, a notebook, and a presentation folder was created to show how the brand would communicate with the clients. Along with this, an animation was created to last for five seconds and with custom sound design. The final item for Unhinged is a 3D print that was designed to function as a paperweight for the brand. Unhinged continues to inspire more of the projects that I developed to today. My next project is called Seaboat Joe's. Seaboat Joe's is a canned seafood brand with this project specifically focus focusing on a smoked canned oyster series. The idea for Seaboat Joe's was to reference classic cartoons such as Popeye the Sailor and Steamboat Willie to create a brand that feels familiar while also giving saturated colors to modernize it. To emphasize this project's unusual nature, every flavor of Seaboat Joe's canned oysters has a unique flavor with an even more unique name. Examples of this include Chummy Curry and Real and Cajun. Along with the packaging, a t-shirt was designed for consumers to show their love for Seaboat Joe's. This project was very fun to work on due to how out of the ordinary the item was. To end, I have a short message for anyone that is considering graphic design, visual art, photography, or something similar. CVCC's programs are challenging, but the experiences, opportunities, and overall growth you take away from it will be so worth it. If you would like to learn more about me and my designs, you can visit studiosmire.com. Thank you for your time, and I hope that you enjoy Vision 2021. Hi everyone, my name is Keely Sigmund and I'm graduating from the Advertising and Graphic Design program at Catawba Valley Community College. I'm also the owner of Keely Shea Design Co. where I specialize in hand lettering, illustration, logos, branding, and much more thanks to the Advertising and Graphic Design program. Today I would like to walk you through a few of my projects and starting off I would like to introduce you to The Good Book Club. The Good Book Club is a Christian-based subscription box that sends customers a Christian-based novel, stickers, a notebook, as well as an extra surprise each month. The goal of this box is to encourage women to take the time to be still and read. This project was one of my favorites because I was able to combine the thing, all the things I love, graphic design and hand lettering. As you can see, the logo is made up of hand lettered logo top and a hand illustrated logo mark of a book that is growing flowers out of the top. The logo mark represents the growing spiritually that a customer may experience while subscribing to this box. I also designed a variety of hand illustrated elements for this brand such as a tagline, be still and read, and a variety of flowers to be used in the box and in marketing efforts. This was such a rich and deep project because not only did I create the box and all the components that are inside, I also did an in-depth marketing case study for the brand. This included social media marketing and email marketing for the company. I also designed a website for this brand that customers could visit and find out more about the subscription box and order one from themselves. All the photography that is in my portfolio for this project was photographed by me as well as the box being hand painted. With this project, I was able to learn so much about how to create and market a company from start to finish. In the advertising and graphic design program, I was introduced to such a large variety of projects that expanded my knowledge and helped me to step outside my comfort zone. This next project did just that. I was tasked to create a brand new app that did not exist and as you can imagine, that was a hard thing to do considering there is an app for everything now. I was able to overcome the struggle by tuning into my own life experiences and coming up with Go Serve Love. Go Serve Love is an app for missionaries that is a one-stop, easy-to-use communications platform for missionaries and their supporters. Within the app, missionaries can create private groups for their friends and families to stay updated throughout their trip by photos, prayer requests, and feed updates. 
I went on a mission trip in 2019 and I know how important it is to stay connected to the people back home. Go Serve Love doesn't have the normal features of a social media platform, such as liking and making comments. This way missionaries are able to stay present in their trip while still keeping their supporters back home updated. For Go Serve Love, I designed a geometric logo that included the earth and a clean top face with a white, blue, green, and gray color palette that was repeated throughout the entire app. The designs for the skin of the app started out on paper and was brought to life in Adobe XD as well as prototyped, which you can find in the link in my portfolio to try it out. This is a project I was very proud of and it was not easy from the beginning, but I learned how to overcome and step outside my comfort zone to create an app that I'm now very proud of. Another project I'm very proud of is these craft beer labels. I had the opportunity to work with a group of designers and create these for a local brewing company. The company was releasing six new beer flavors and we were tasked to create labels for each of these cans. Each beer had its own unique story that we wanted to represent in each design. For the labels, we created illustrations that would be the center focal point that tied back to the story behind each beer. One of the major roles I played in this group was creating three of the six illustrations, which were the potato sack, the horse, and the house. Since I'm an illustrated person, this was right up my alley. With these labels and the illustrations, we also created collateral for the company, such as t-shirts, stickers, coasters, drinking glasses, and magnets. Another large role I played was creating this collateral. I took the illustrations and designed the collateral in Adobe Illustrator and produced them using a wide format printer for the stickers and magnets as well as heat pressing the designs on the t-shirts. While creating these craft beer labels, I was able to learn how to work and communicate with the team, all while creating and producing the client's vision. Throughout my time at the Advertising and Graphic Design Program at CBCC, I have grown and learned so much as a designer. I thrive in branding and social media marketing as well as hand illustrative work. As I graduate, I plan to pursue a freelance career and am also open to other opportunities. I would like to thank the Advertising and Graphic Design Program and the professors for how much they have helped me grow over the past two years. I look forward to the future and can't wait to see what's in store. Today I've only shown you three projects from my portfolio but there is so much more to see. So be sure to check out my portfolio site and my social media platforms at keelyshadesignco.com. And thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Ashley Barnett, owner of The Barnett Studio. I am graduating from the Advertising and Graphic Design program at CBCC. I've always loved being creative drawing, painting, writing, really anything that has to do with getting my hands dirty. Many times I've received comments about how I should go on to study graphic design, that it might be a good fit for me. At first, I was very apprehensive. I thought that graphic design was just on the computer, coding for websites and making logos. Boy, was I wrong. Graphic design has given me the best of both worlds. It has allowed me to flex my creative muscles daily and it has also brought out a more technical side of myself that I did not know existed. I love a challenge. I enjoy looking for unique and innovative ways to solve problems that I am presented with. It's often said that there is nothing new under the sun, and while that may be true, I have made it my mission to come up with something different and unique for each creative challenge. During the program, I have been able to explore many aspects of design and bring ideas from concept to fruition. One of these projects required us to solve a problem by creating a unique app concept, designing the logo, user interface, and fully prototyping the app using Adobe XD. My app concept was MOI, short for Makeup Application Help. This app is a makeup tutorial in your pocket that walks a novice or intermediate makeup user through the process of creating a specific look. The logo is a simple, continuous line drawing emphasizing each section of the face. The app is organized by category, eyes, lips, face, eyebrows, etc. Moi provides the user with a list of necessary tools for application before the tutorial begins. The user is then guided through the process via short looping videos that apply the makeup simultaneously. This project went on to tie for first place at the AGD Shark Tank competition, which is a Shark Tank style presentation judged by industry professionals, program alumni, and CVCC faculty and administration. I truly enjoyed this project as it gave me an idea of how important user interface and user experience are to graphic design. Another project which gave me a deeper insight into the world of graphic design was the subscription box project. 
The company was Humanity Spice Co., a monthly subscription box that delivered three loose leaf teas and three spices based around a monthly theme. The logo for this project is a mug with a medicinal cross on the front and a pestle resting inside, all sitting on a saucer made out of water ripples. Using dye lines, the box was physically built and stylized while the contents inside were curated and branded for the company. An icon set was also created to signify the benefit of each tea or spice used in the branding throughout. This company branding was carried into social media and email marketing, as well as a fully prototyped responsive website. This project taught me a lot about the importance of digital marketing and web design as an extension of a brand and its marketing strategy. However, the project that proved to me without a doubt that this is where I belong was the packaging project, Honos Golf. This golf company derives its name from the Roman god of military virtue and is where the word honor comes from. The logo mark used is an eagle in profile with a golf club resting diagonally across it. The full logo is surrounded by a laurel wreath with the logo type underneath it. A simplified version of the logo was required to be used on products such as golf shirts, gloves, and golf balls sold in the package. Each package has the same layout, but for certain elements on the box, they are emphasized by using different colors. The pro control ball is purple while the long distance ball is green. The front has a die cut window for the golf balls inside to show through. The patterns used in conjunction with these products have an elegant feel to them. They are geometric in nature and interlock with one another. These patterns are used on the inside of the package with colors that correspond with the product. This project allowed me to be independent and make my own deadlines. It showed me the importance of meeting those deadlines and how to prepare files properly for production. Being a part of this program for the last two years, I have found that my favorite projects are the ones involving a brand identity package, UX, UI, and social media marketing. But I also enjoy web design, photo manipulation, and page layout, among many others. After graduation, I hope to pursue a graphic design career with an agency or creative team. I look forward to exploring the career opportunities that this program and Catawba Valley Community College have given me. The future is very bright. To see more of my work, as well as my resume, visit my website, thebarnettstudio.com, or find me on social media at the underscore barnett underscore studio. Thank you so much for watching. Hey there, my name is Abigail Houston. I'm a part of the Advertising and Graphic Design Program at CVCC. I'm also the designer of an Abigail Houston Creative. When it comes to design, I have a strong focus on branding, page layout, packaging design, and social media marketing. I have always had an eye for detail and a creative imagination. Growing up, my great-grandfather always inspired me to pursue my creative passions. At a young age, I knew that I wanted to pursue a career that would challenge me, yet also allow my creative mind to flourish. Over the past couple of years, I've had the opportunity to hone in on my creative skills and challenge myself to explore various parts of the design industry through the Advertising and Graphic Design program. I'm grateful to say that I am an Adobe Certified Professional in Visual Design, Print and Digital Media Publication, and Graphic Design and Illustration. I also hold a Hootsuite Social Marketing Certification, as well as Hootsuite Platform Certification. I'm also a 2021 graduate of the CBC Student Leadership Academy. One of the most rewarding projects that I created is the Flourish Subscription Box. For this project, I had the opportunity to not only conceptualize the company and create the branding, but I also was able to challenge myself in creating the physical box, a multi-page website prototype, and also explore social media marketing and email marketing through creating a digital marketing case study. After researching the subscription box industry, I decided to conceptualize Flourish, a Bible study subscription box company. The target audience for Flourish is women between the ages of 20 to 30 years old. The logo took inspiration from the name of the company, incorporating floral elements in various ways. The branding is simple and feminine and has a light and natural color palette. Dye lines were created for both the exterior and interior of the box. The exterior of the box includes the logo and the primary color. The interior of the box is deep, blush pink with a secondary seek for a flourish branded element. The digital marketing case study challenged me to explore the world of marketing through social media marketing and creating various marketing strategies. Email marketing campaigns that were designed using Adobe XD were included in the digital marketing case study. 
A multi-page website prototype, also created in Adobe XD, inspired me to explore the back-end design process of web design. One of my favorite projects that I've had the opportunity to complete during my time in the advertising and graphic design program is Watson Electric Company. This project allowed me to dive into the world of branding and logo design. Watson is a solar energy company located in Jacksonville, Florida. The branding has a masculine feel with the use of the navy and gold color palette. Adobe Illustrator was used to create the branded elements, while Photoshop was used to create mock-ups of business cards, polo shirts, and company bands. This project also pushed me to go outside of my comfort zone in two ways. I had the opportunity to learn how to code a microsite using Adobe Dreamweaver. The microsite discusses solar energy and its importance in our environment. I also enjoyed turning the Watson Electric Company logo into an animated logo using Adobe Animate. The animation starts as pitch black, then proceeds to show the logo mark and typography flickering on and off similarly to lights, and then to the full logo illuminated and glowing. This project challenged me to explore the design industry on every level, from branding to animation and web design. The last project that I want to highlight is the Storybook Composite Series. This project, I was tasked with taking the famous storybook, The Frog Prince, and illustrating the story through a series of composites. Before coming to the Advertising and Graphic Design program, I had some experience creating Photoshop composites. When it came to this project, I challenged myself to dive into creating composites and truly push myself to learn and grow as I created them. The most challenging portion of the compositing process was finding properly sourced images that worked well with the composites and adding adjustment layers to help the photos blend and match the concept. In the end, although it was challenging, the project was deeply rewarding. I am thankful to have had the privilege to learn and challenge myself over the past few years through this program. Through the ups and the downs, I can say that I have grown not only as a designer, but also as a person. I am truly excited to continue to learn, grow, and challenge myself as I continue to pursue my passion. Thank you for taking the time to get to know me and learn about some of my projects. You can find more of my work and connect with me on my website at abigailhoustoncreative.com. Hi, my name is Savannah Blackburn and I'm a graduating student of the Advertising and Graphic Design program this year from Catawba Valley Community College. I am certified in Adobe InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator, but I also have experience in Adobe Dreamweaver, Adobe Anime, and Adobe XD. As a graphic designer, the world is my oyster. I'm pretty much open to anything. I'd love to work in industry, be a freelance designer, and teach the next generation of graphic design students. So luckily here in this program, you are able to explore many opportunities. So I'm ready to see what the graphic design world has for me. Areas of graphic design I specialize in are logo design, branding packages, social media marketing, digital and print advertising, and digital and print page layout design work. Let me tell you about a few of these projects that contain all of these areas of graphic design. The first project I'd love to talk to you about is Peels. Peels is a shake and smoothie shop that's nationally owned that promotes healthy, clean drinks in both smoothie and shake form. The logo design for Peels is a bright lime green and peach color which first attracts your eye. Since the logo has hierarchy you can start from the top to the bottom or bottom to top so let's start from top to bottom from the top you will see the lid in the of the graphically reduced blender the straw and the lemon wedge as you move down the interactive bubbles appear within the smoothie mixture which is in a peach color then for the base you will find the bottom of the blender and then the logo type which is both Capitalize big and bold to know the name of the company, but then in a small sans serif typeface to keep that modern vibe that Spark gives to its customers. Peels was also made into an animated logo. So as you see throughout this logo, the button is pressed on the logo, which starts the blender. As the bubbles and smoothies shakes, it is then stopped and the 
lime wedge or lemon wedge, whichever you prefer, and the straw and the logo type come together and make the full logo design. So for appeals, it was mostly focusing on um, advertising, design, logo design, and branding. But let's take it a step further. So Spark is a subscription box service which empowers women to keep moving forward through their mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional battles that they face. The tagline, Igniting Small Victories, is Spark's main goal because they believe that igniting the small victories leads to the end of war and a final victory. For the logo of Spark, you will find a dark blue and a light blue. This is to bring back calm, relaxing feelings that Spark wants to enhance to their customers that let them know that they are there for them. But as though the logo is type heavy, there is a slight yellow spark at the top, hence the name Spark. For Spark, a website was created to tell about the company, about the owner of the company, and for customers to find their perfect box out of the many categories that Spark has to choose from and in-house products that Spark creates. This was all done using Adobe XD for both the web and the mobile design of the website. But of course, it's a subscription box. So in class, we prototyped a box for the company. A dial line is what the box looks like flat. That way, as the designer, I was able to put all the branding elements of Spark onto the box, inside and out. So, when the customer gets the box, they know it's from Spark, but once they open it inside, it's like a burst. So for the continual branding, it was important for the labels and print materials for customers to interact with to be in the Spark branding. Thank you so much for joining in today, and congratulations to all the CBCC graduates of 2021, and make sure to check out Blackburn Design Co. Thanks. Hello, I'm Elaine Childers of Elaine Design Works, and for my work, I specialize in branding, logo design, and t-shirt design. I also have great skills in communications with my coworkers and clients, creative problem solving, thinking outside the box, and helping others. With my skills, I can be flexible for working both in office and remote locations when needed. When it does come to my work, I do extensive research on what's common or trending in that specific industry so that I may put a twist on it for the brand to be able to stand out against their competition. With my work, these projects represent most of my listed skills, and with them, I have proven that I'm flexible across many Adobe programs, such as Illustrator, XD, and Photoshop. First up, we have the winning design for North Carolina Skills USA t-shirt design competition. For this design, thorough research was done to see the prominent history that happened here instead of following the typical cardinals, mountains, and the coast. Along with it, a psychedelic aesthetic was in mind when it came to thinking about how to put a twist on it to make the design stand out against the typical pirate t-shirt. For it, the infamous Blackbeard was the main focus and has many other details to establish a hierarchy within it while being subtle about the other elements. To maintain the psychedelic appearance mixed with the elements using bright colors, a thicker decorative typeface, and organic lines helped it stay within this aesthetic. The elements that were used include the stars of the original 13 colonies, the year that the first town bath was established within the state, dogwood flowers, and the Carolina blue that makes up the movement in his beard as well as the center of the flowers. In addition with these elements, the partial circle symbols that represent some of the other categories of the Skills USA competitions help create a focus around Blackbeard. And now, recycled. In comparison to how many other projects are styled, this has a more minimalistic approach mixed with modern and eco-friendly aesthetic. To further help keep the focus of the app on the purpose and theme, personas were made to represent the end users. Keeping them in mind helped maintain perspective in how certain areas would read across different age groups. With the logo itself in the app, color theory and typography manipulation were used to make both an effective primary and a secondary logo. When it did come to figuring out what would be an effective use for iconography in the app, researching what's typically thought of when people refer to an eco-friendly aesthetic while adding a fun twist to it proved to be overall successful in the branding. 
This fun twist is present in the iconography, is able to help us market towards all the personas that were created for this project. Further developing this app, other screens were needed to be thought of, such as how the loading screen would look as it processes the item being recycled, overlays that showed fun facts about recycling, and the tutorials explaining how to use it and the possibility of the prizes that they could win. These screens show how attention to detail can truly help make or break an app. While it would have been used in a simpler manner of the user typing in what they recycle or when they recycle something, a more interactive approach with them Actually scanning their product makes them more aware and fulfills the goal that the company strives to achieve. With the project that I have presented to you today, I have been able to show how my skills are able throughout many applications and I'm willing to adapt to what I'm working on, no matter the project. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and I hope to hear from you. Hi, my name is Rodrigo Gonzalez. I'm a graphic designer who's passionate about my work. I work hard to ensure the design is well developed and that it meets the client's satisfaction. My skills are branding, illustration, screen printing, and photography. My favorite process of the project is production. I enjoy seeing the design that started as a sketch and seeing it come to life. One of the projects that I enjoyed working on was Fresh Kicks. Fresh Kicks is a subscription box showcasing the selected artists. This subscription box is based on the artist Bad Bunny. When researching Bad Bunny, I knew that I had created a shoe that stood out and caught people's attention. This is where I gained experience of learning how packaging is built. I learned about creating guidelines for the packaging, figuring out what needs to be folded or cut. I did create a shoe design that had bright colors, pink, green, or orange, and yellow. Now for the box itself, I made the box functional. I made it for the tent of the user using it as a storage. The box is made to slide out and the user will be able to grab their pair of shoes. The purpose of the box is to be able to stack them on top of each other. After creating a digital illustration and producing the subscription box, it was time for me to demonstrate my skills in photography, showing you just what I built. I went out and spray painted a wall with that says fresh kicks. I then began taking photos of the models wearing the shoe and showing the subscription box. This was my favorite part of the project because I was able to shoot the photos of all my work. All the hard work I have done creating the subscription box and seeing it produce. Shooting photos of it made this whole experience real. Now moving on to another project I enjoy is the two color shirt design. I enjoyed the project as someone interested in screen printing and wanted to branch out into the field of screen printing. This was a good experience for me to gain knowledge about screen printing. The inspiration for the design was pop art. The design is a woman holding a rose with petals falling down. To achieve the look of pop art, I made her hair, lips, and eyes a red rose color. I then put it in the frame since most pop art resemble a comic panel. After creating the design, this is where the fun happened. For me, screen printing, I say this is because Without any knowledge of how screen printing, I would have never knew that they, how they were produced or the process of screen printing. Learning about separation of color, exposing the screen, setting up the screen, and lining up each screen with the registration mark. All the process of screen printing and learning how the design are made. This made me excited that I had the opportunity to learn and create. I think the most memorable part is where everything is completed grabbing the shirt, holding it up, and seeing the design I made. This filled me with joy because I just made a shirt, a design. Soon after that, I had family members asking me if they could get a shirt. Each project, I gained experience and understanding of what it takes to be a graphic designer. So every time I get a new project, I get excited, especially if it's a project that gives me a chance to learn new programs. 7th Street Trash Talk was a project that allowed me to learn the fundamentals of animation. I learned how animation are produced. When starting a project, I was delighted because I wanted to know the functionality of animation. I started by creating the storyboard. When creating the storyboard, I knew that I wanted my animation to be fun and have some play. So I made the trash man do a spin out and the logo would come flying out from the left side and slam against each other to the wall. This would then cause the trash bin and letters to slam against each other 
then afterwards slowly back up into place to show out the full logo. This animation was fun to create. I can see myself creating more animation in the future. Well, I would like to thank you all for allowing me to show you my work. This was a lot of fun looking at some of my work, showing you all my skills as a graphic designer. If you'd like to see me or more of my work, you can see my, you can check me out on my website at designbyrodrigo.com. Also check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Designed by Rodrigo. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello everyone, my name is Chloe Wickham, the creator of Chloe Grace Design Co. I am a graduate from the CVCC Advertising and Graphic Design program. I joined the program through the CCP program CVCC offers. When I was first starting graphic design, I didn't even know what it was. But on my first day of class, I knew I was where I was supposed to be. The AGD program is just so inviting and I've learned so much from these two years. I am so thrilled to be able to show you guys some of my projects today. This project contained a lot of fun aspects. We had to create and brand an event that would be within a local area. My event was labeled Seaside Sunsets. It is a cruise ship based event. Couples will tour the lovely sights of Curie Beach on a romantic getaway. For the branding, I created a fairy with a stylized sun behind it. The colors portray a beach vibe while also having that romantic sunset aspect. Additionally, other collateral was created, such as staff shirts, bags, and water bottles. This campaign definitely has several exciting different parts. Next, I would like to showcase the rebrand and craft beer labels my team designed for Catawba Farms. I was given the opportunity to design the icon set and the graphics for the labels and the branding. For the branding of the icon set, I created the beer, wine, peacock feather, and ice skate to correspond with each part of their business. We base the labels off of a barn quilt concept. As you can see, each design has its own separate icon, a peacock, hay bales, a barn, a sunflower, and a horseshoe. The concept for these icons came from different things featured around Catawba Farms. Last of all, I created a subscription box called Plushables. Plushables is a magical, whimsical, plushy subscription box for children. This box allows kids to create their own stuffed animal and stuff a wishing star with their own personal wish inside. I created a brand and also designed the box and took everything into production. After the box was produced, I took a photo shoot of it and its contents. It was important to me to display every aspect. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed my projects and I also hope you will go check out my portfolio site at chloegracedesignco.com. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dari Unge. I am in the advertising and graphic design program at CBCC. In 2019, I was looking for a creative expression. While I have a passion for computers and technology, I decided to dive into the graphic design field because it went hand in hand with my interests. I can say with pride that attending the AGD program was such a beautiful experience. Being in this program has taught me so many important lessons. I value the time I have spent there so much. I am a shy introvert and with this, it helped me to come out of my shell in the best way possible. I specialize in logo design, web design, UX, UI design, interactive design, and um, layout. I will be presenting three of my design campaigns to you today. Cultivated is a do-it-yourself monthly subscription box that serves to inspire artists and crafters. This craft box incorporates bold statements and quality products to provide a crafter's dream. The cultivated brand is inspired by the definition of a word and the overall idea of growth. The cultivated logo design has an artistic vibe. I wanted a logo mark that was unique, simple, and clean. With just a little bit of effort and determination, art can be created by anyone. I wanted this to be the base behind the logo design. Each month, subscribers will receive 8 to 10 craft items and tools 
that will allow them to advance within their craft lifestyle. These craft items will be based on a theme that will change from month to month. The design collateral for the cultivated subscription box includes a box prototype with die lines, style guide, digital marketing case study, and a branded website. Divine Holy Grail is a self-care brand for men. This brand caters to diversity aimed at men of all ages and ethnicities. In inspiration of having a cultural aspect, the logo design features three men of different races. Divine Holy Grail includes daily self-care products that work well for everyday use. These products consist of a face mask, body oil, and body wash. The logo mark for this brand is versatile and includes an outline effect. The logo design needs to be attention grabbing while showcasing a masculine vibe. The design collateral for this brand include a logo, box prototype, self-care product line, style guide, and several unique patterns. The Clammy Clarity app works with wearable technology to send encouragement throughout the day and monitor the user's heart rate. The app assesses the user's current heartbeats and will send a notification and an encouraging quote or image to the user when a high heart rate is detected. A person has several emotions throughout the day and this will be perfect for an individual who needs a pick me up. The Claiming Clarity app features two main functions. The app monitors heart rate via beats per minute and the next feature provides users with positive tips on how to lower heart rate. I would like to thank you for giving me the chance to learn about me and my design campaigns. For more information, you can visit me at dominiquedesignandco.com. Hi, my name is Maggie Sugar and I'm a graphic designer based in Hickory, North Carolina. I'm currently finishing my last semester at Catawba Valley Community College in the Advertising and Graphic Design program. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time in this program where I've learned so much about design, gained experience in design programs like Adobe software, and gained real life experience working with clients. This program has been amazing and has really provided me with a design family that I know will be lifelong friends. I know everyone kind of says this, but I've always kind of been interested in art and design and had various hobbies related to art. Um, growing up, both of my parents were in creative fields, my dad painted cars, and my mom's an interior designer. Growing up with parents who did creative things, I was always supported to try new things and looked up to them in their careers. When trying to figure out what I wanted to do, originally I considered graphic design, but then I kind of doubted that and started considering other things like accounting or architecture, but then I quickly realized that graphic design was where I needed to be. It allows me to make a career out of something that I love doing, which is very important to me. My favorite avenue of graphic design is logos and branding. I would like to specialize in those areas, but I also have experience in print and digital marketing, web design, print production, UX UI design, and photography work. I am an Adobe Certified Associate in Visual Design using Photoshop an Adobe Certified Associate in Print Digital Media Publication using Adobe InDesign and an Adobe Certified Professional in Visual Design. I also have a Hootsuite Social Marketing Certification and a Hootsuite Platform Certification. The first project that I would like to walk you through is Lily Mae's Bouquet's Subscription Box. The objective of this project was to develop a unique subscription box brand and concept. This project also 
included extensive marketing research, web design, photography, and social media marketing. Lily Mae's Bouquets is a flower subscription box company owned by a woman that wants to spread her knowledge about flowers and gardening to others. Its branding is meant to convey casual sophistication with the floral elements and the elegant handwritten script logo type. I created the floral elements and the logo type for this logo in Illustrator. To expand upon the brand elements, I created the dye lines for one month's box and then actually produced a prototype of the box and created branded collateral to go within the box. I did a photo shoot of the box and its contents. This project also included a digital marketing case study where I went into depth about the marketing of the brand. I designed a website prototype for Lily Mae's bouquets in Adobe XD and also created content for several social media platforms. I chose to market this business on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest because these best fit the target audience. Lily Mae's was one of the first big projects that I completed and I would say it was more my style, the floral elements and everything. The next project, Sit and Stay, was a little bit out of my comfort zone in the overall style, the interface, and the brand, the extensive research that went into it, and the prototyping. It definitely challenged me and helped me grow as a designer. This was a app design project where the goal was to create a unique app that did not already exist that solved a specific problem. This was very challenging because of the number of apps that there are out there and the design of the app was to be functional and visually pleasing to best fit the concept. My concept was a vet check-in app that allows pet owners to check in their pet at the vet from the comfort of their car to avoid busy waiting rooms. The interface is very simple to use and pet themed to appeal to pet owners. I used Adobe Illustrator to create the graphics for the app and Adobe XD to actually create the prototype of the app and work through the screen flow. After creating the app, the user testing was performed and feedback was given to make sure the app was as successful as possible. After completing this project, I participated in a Shark Tank style presentation where my classmates and I actually got to pitch each of our ideas to a panel of nine judges made up of industry professionals, program alumni, and college administration. This was a great experience that really helped me grow my presentation abilities and my confidence. Another project that I really enjoyed was Blondie, the typeface that I created. I actually had a project my first year in typography class to hand render a unique typeface and that's when Blondie started. This year when I needed to decide on my independent project, I chose to digitize that hand rendered typeface that I had created. Because this was the thing that I chose for that project, it meant that I completed it over a break between semesters and it allowed me to have a little bit more creative freedom. Blondie, my typeface, is a tall block sans serif typeface that is very clean and simple with kind of a retro feel. It's unique because of the mix of upper and lowercase letters and I created those in Adobe Illustrator and then actually created the typeface with an add-on called Font Self. I created the booklet to display the typeface and also created a brand, Sunset Surfs, to showcase how the font could be used. Something a little interesting about this font is that after I designed it, I realized that it kind of represented me as a font, which sounds crazy, but I decided to name it Blondie because of my blonde hair, and I feel like the name fits it perfect because it's fun and unique. One of my biggest accomplishments during my time in the AGD program was being given one of the creative director positions during the last semester of the program. I was actually one of four creative directors in my class to lead a team while working with real clients and working on projects that will be implemented in the community. This experience has been so beneficial to me because it has helped me learn what it's actually like to lead a team of creatives and work with clients and be more confident in my professionalism. I just want to say I 100% recommend this program to anyone considering graphic design for a career and I am so thankful for this program and all the experiences and memories that I've gained in the last two years. Thank you so much for taking the time to get to know me a little better and reviewing some of my projects with me. To see some of my other projects, you can visit my website at magmariedesigns.com or look me up on Instagram where I'll be sharing more of my work at magmariedesigns. Thanks!
Hello, my name is Andrew Richmeyer, and I'm currently getting my Associates in Fine Arts at CBCC. So, why Associates in Fine Arts? Well, I've always been interested into making things and creating things. And I felt that a Associates in Fine Arts would give me the opportunity to not only explore and learn, but also increase my ability as a, um, a creator and an artist. One of my favorite things about attending CVCC in the uh, Associates of Fine Arts program is I get to expand um, my ability and also get out of my comfort zone. For example, these paintings, uh, both in acrylic and oil, um, I have improved vastly on my ability to paint while also taking the application of learning new things to put into the work I do on an individual basis. I feel like CBCC as a school has very dedicated teachers who care about what they do and the students that they're teaching. They're there solely to help you progress as an artist and as an individual into your um, upcoming career. My name is Tyler Johncock and I am in the AFA program at CBCC. I've always been super interested in art. It's just been my thing as long as I can imagine and having the opportunity to uh, work on doing that in a professional setting, um, it's just something that was always super important to me. I never really had any other expectations for college other than going into art. I kind of always knew that it was what I was going to do. I think that the specifics of what I do, uh, painting on clothing, probably evolved from uh, making things with my mom when I was younger. Uh, she was always someone who was very into arts and crafts, always encourage us to be thrifty and uh, be able to transform things that were already used into something cool and new. For my own art, um, I often take uh, things that I find at like a thrift store or someone will donate them to me and I will either customize them or do my own original art on them. For me, it's been great to be able to make art and also do it in a sustainable way um, and in a way that people are able to enjoy my art on a daily basis, to wear my art, um, to make it almost a sort of functional thing. In my experience, the professors in the AFA program have always put in the time and experience to help me become a better artist and help me reach my goals. They've always encouraged me to reach outside of my comfort zone, experiment doing different things, uh, like different mediums, different techniques and different styles that I might not have tried before. I had worked on a lot of smaller projects in the past, like customizing shoes and sweatshirts and earrings and stuff like that, but this program has allowed me to put uh, more time and effort into bigger projects. I recently did a custom guitar for a friend and a wedding dress, which are both going to be in the show and I'm very excited about. I really wanted to do something huge and I had been looking for a wedding dress to paint for quite a while, actually. I wanted to do something mural-esque and lately I've been really drawn to this woodsy gothic vibe and I think that it just looks beautiful on this wedding dress. I am really excited for people to see this in person. The shoe and bag set uh, are really more indicative of my personal style. Um, I really like to draw people with super distinct features. This is really more of the kind of art that I do on a daily basis and the art that I will be looking to sell once I graduate from CBCC. Hi, my name is Kimberly Catcher Santa Cruz. I'm graduating from the Photographic Technology Program at CBCC. I chose this program because a very special friend led me to this program. And plus, like I like the idea of capturing a lifetime memory in a photograph that will last long even after I'm gone. I made lots of memories in this program, but my favorite one is right now, close to the finish line. Going back, looking at all the projects I have accomplished, all my friends and teachers became a second family to me. Countless memories that I have made along the way will last with me forever. I have two favorite images, both which come in commercial photography. One is product photography, which the back behind the scenes was fun to make. Second one is my high fashion one, where we had to make 50% of the outfit ourselves, and that 
photograph made me bring in my creative side and my photography skills in one image. Once I complete this program, I wish to work as a commercial photographer or with artists or even concert photography. You should choose the photographic technology program at CBC because you're working with smaller groups and everyone becomes like a family. Encouraging message. Work hard, trust the process. At the end of the day, you will love the final product. Favorite quote I live by is, I don't just want to exist, I want to live life full of adventures and pursue dreams. So live life filled with oh wells instead of what ifs. Make sure to check out all my work on all my social medias. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the show. Hi, I'm Desley Staley, one of the three students graduating from the Photographic Technology Program at Catawba Valley Community College this May. We have come a long way since we started this program. Through the short years we have been here, we have had the opportunity to learn so much about photography, make some amazing memories, and build some new friendships. Here are a few of my favorite images that I have been able to create during my time at CBCC. This first image was a composite that I created for my digital application suit class. We had to take 10 images and create one overall image. Next, I chose to include one of my portraits from my portraiture class. This is my kid portrait that I did and actually turned into my frame portrait. Next I chose to include something a little bit different. I wanted to go away from my portraits and show you one of my food photography projects for my commercial photography class. As most of you can probably tell, I like to go outside or think outside of the box and create images that some may seem like called dark or creepy. This is why I chose to do the seven deadly sins for my final portfolio. I chose to include the sin, the color that represents it, as well as the punishment that represents each sin. It has been an interesting journey so far and I can't wait to see what the future holds for me. If you would like to check out any more of my work, here are my social media profiles as well as my website. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Michaela Buff, a student at Catawba Valley Community College graduating this year from the Photographic Technology Program. I chose to attend this program because of all the great things that I've heard about the staff. My favorite part during my time here at CVCC is today, right now. As you're watching this, I have completed or almost completed my degree. I love to look back at all of the projects and accomplishments that I've done here. Also, all of my friends and countless memories I've made along the way. I couldn't just pick one image to be my favorite, so here are some of my top favorites that I've done over the past two years. After I graduate, I plan to work for a company taking images of their products for advertising purposes. If you're interested in seeing more of my work, you can visit my Facebook page, Michaela Quinn Photography, my Instagram, MichaelaQuinn.Photography, and also my website, MichaelaQuinnPhotography.com. I wanted to leave you with this quote. But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. 2 Chronicles 15.7. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the show. Good evening, I'm Gary Moeller. I'm the Dean of the School of Workforce Development and the Arts. As we conclude our student art show watch party, I wanna thank you for your support of our fine and applied arts programs at Catawba Valley Community College and the students that participated in tonight's show. We're so proud of these students and faculty. Their commitment to excellence is the reason they are so successful. They truly are the best of the best. As a reminder, you can find all the great student work you saw tonight at the Student Art Show website www.cbccstudentartshow.com. For more information on any of the three programs highlighted throughout this evening, advertising graphic design, photographic technology, or visual arts, please visit cbcc.edu. Thank you again for being a part of our second annual virtual student art show and see the amazing things our students are doing.